Here's the Bogan HO125 super high powered amplifier. What we've got here, we've got a uh, extra transformer uh, hooked up to the low voltage and bias rectifier. It's got it all hooked up with alligator clips here. And we've got also the meter hooked up. We've got the short check test lamp wired into the primary of the HV transformer just temporarily. I've got it across the fuse terminals so that if the fuse decides to blow, the lamp will still be in the circuit. I was doing some initial testing with the uh, lamp only in the circuit and not the fuse. We just remove the fuse, but in this case, enough current was required from the transformer that when it was turned on, it looked like it was getting close to the quality of a short, so I just decided to put the fuse back in, and that way, on that test, if the fuse blew, the lamp would be in the, still be in the circuit, but the fuse didn't blow. I wanted to give this a test before I made the video here just to see what, what the status was. Now, I've got the CD player hooked up here. Let me turn it up a little bit here. And I'm going to plug in the bias transformer. Okay, we'll plug that in. Of course, if you're doing something like this, you have to make sure absolutely that there's bias voltage to the tubes before you plug in the HV supply. Now, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to actually keep my distance from this when I plug it in, just in case anything weird happens. Okay, now I'm going to plug it in. I don't know if I can really get that on the camera, but here we go. Okay, we've got 1100 volts on the plates of the 807s. volts at the 807s, almost a thousand volts on the plates. And it looks like they're not getting too hot. It looks like our bias voltage is okay. The fuse hasn't blown. We've got a thousand twenty-one volts at the plates of the 807s. And it seems like it sounds pretty good. I'm going to hook up the other speaker there and then we can do some more extended testing on it before I mount the new transformer in. The original problem on this was that the power transformer had two secondaries and I think one of them had some kind of a one had some kind of a problem in the winding that led to an overload in the low voltage winding. I'm just keeping an eye on it for a little bit here. It looks like this probably will work. 